What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J and we just got done with a long car ride up here to North Central Arkansas to visit one of our favorite rivers. We fish here quite often, not as much as we used to. This person has been here all summer, but we're really excited. This is one of our favorite places to fish. And that's mainly because it's just a really unique and diverse fishery. You can catch a ton of different fish species, everything ranging from trout to smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, to bluegill, brim, and then some weird species mixed in between. So we're really excited to get underway with this fishing mission. We got a bunch of gear with us, but we also brought along with us a really exciting piece of gear we've been eager to share with y'all for a while. I've got it down here in the bag. Oh, Oops, you good? <laughs> so you guys know we love fishing with trout magnet products. We've been working with them for a little bit, but we've teamed up with them to bring y'all an exclusive Colin J trout fishing bundle. I kind of have it here in this little Ziploc bag for now, but it's got some really cool things in it. Included in this trout bundle is everything that we love to use from Trout Magnet to help us catch a bunch of trout. And that's gonna be our primary fish species today. Let me show you guys a little bit of what is involved inside of this sack. If y'all watched our last trout fishing video, you saw we caught a bunch of fish on the D2 jig. This jig is awesome for snapping around this fast moving water, catch a bunch of different fish species. Um, we're gonna throw it a lot today. So we got some D2 jigs, we also included the Trout Magnet Neon Kit. It basically has every color that we like. So along with the Neon Kit, we also have three additional colors. We have Sassy, which is my personal favorite. It's pink and orange laminate, catches a ton of fish. We also have Salmon Fix, and then we have good old cotton candy, pink and white laminate. These colors smash. There's no reason that you shouldn't be able to take these trout magnets out to your favorite trout fishery and not catch some trout. And then along with that, we also provide a spool of fishing lines, the Trout Magnet SOS four pound test line. It's our line of choice for trout fishing. And then we have one more thing. You can't throw the Trout Magnet without some easy floats. So again, here's the entire bundle. They are live on the Trout Magnet website. We're really excited about it. We also have crappie magnet bundles. We also have bluegill bundles. And so we'll leave all the information linked in the video description below. Y'all are always asking us down in the comments, you know, what are our favorite lures for trout fishing, for crop fishing, and now we have these bundles that lead y'all exactly to what we're using, and it just makes it easy to get everything in one little package bundle. And I think you also get it at a little bit of a discounted rate too. But anyways, guys, we're excited about the bundles. Be sure to check them out, link in the video description below, but we're even more excited about getting this fishing trip started. We're gonna start in this pullback behind us and kind of work our way up towards the dam. And if that doesn't work out, we'll go down river some, but I got a good feeling it's gonna work out. So. If y'all are excited to join along with us on today's fishing adventure, just a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's see what we can get into today. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, I feel like this happens every time we come here. There's a big snake. He's eating a sculpin, dude. He's eating a sculpin. Big snake here eating a sculpin. Got him. Got him. Almost got the sculpin too. He spit the sculpin out. Let's go. <laughs> That was crazy. I'm gonna try to find that skull. Got it. I got what he was eating too, guys. This is crazy. Boy, he's grumpy. Look at that. Been down here about two minutes. Already found our first snake of the day. Haven't even got our lines in the water yet. And this is a beautiful one. He's got kind of a weird nubby tail. Oh, he's grumpy. But that is a Midland water snake. This is the most uh, common uh, snake we see out here in this river. They like these cold water streams here in the mountains and hopefully we'll find a whole lot more of these with a bunch of different unique color patterns. They range from this brown to like, I mean like a vivid bright orange. That's pretty good size. If he had his whole tail, he'd be a lot bigger. But guys, what's crazy is that he was actually eating a sculpin and I probably shouldn't have interrupted that a little bit. He'll go down and catch some where this place is loaded with, but I have the food in my hand right here. It's still alive, so I guess I saved a fish's life. But we'll take a couple looks at this, at this snake and we'll send him back and I'll show you guys what he was eating. We just released the snake. Let me show you guys what this dude was eating. This is probably their favorite snack out here besides small rainbow trout. Look at this thing. That is a sculpin. And I would think they're kind of hard to eat. They're kind of spiny. They look like little gobies. And he had just caught him. He didn't have him gulp down that much. They're really cool, really bizarre looking fish. Look at their tummies. I think he's still alive. We're going to send him back. Maybe another snake will eat him. There we go. Got him. Got him. Finally got out there where I was trying to get my bait out to. He's fighting good. Woo! 
I love fighting them on this eight foot ACC. I love the way the rod bends. That's a good one. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Nice little rainbow to get the day started. He devoured the sassy color trout magnet. That was like my third cast. I got hung up on my second cast. Oh, he's trying to get away. Oh, yep. Um, we're going to keep that one. We're going to keep that one. <laughs> he kind of just stoned himself on a rock. That's okay. It's a good little eater sized rainbow trout. It's going to happen sometimes to these slippery fish on the rocks. Uh, yeah, we'll take him, put him on the stringer, and we'll take him home with us later. <laughs> All right, we're gonna string this bad boy up. The limit on rainbow trout out here in this river is five fish, and you can keep one over 14 inches. Hopefully we get one of those a little bit nicer sized fish. That's a good start. Hopefully we catch a whole bunch today. And uh, pretty much when we have casualties like I just had on the first fish, those are the ones we usually, we usually string up. He'll eat good tonight. Oh, big boss. Let's go, big boss. There's my first trout of the day. A beautiful rainbow on the cotton candy trout magnet. That's awesome. Woo! He is ready to get back in the water. Alright, send him back and let's get more. Not too bad. Second trial of the day for me, a little bit bigger than my first one. I'm having a little bit of time, of a hard time getting my bait out where I need it to be. I put some new line on here and it's just kind of rigid right now. It's kind of has when you get some fresh braid on your reel. Sometimes you got to get it to work out a little bit. He's hooked right on the top of the nose. Come on, girl. Well, it's good to know he wasn't coming off. There we go. Another beautiful rainbow trout. Let's send him back and let's try to find ourselves a monster. That was a little, your line was a little too tight. So you can have it, you can let it bow. You can let your line flat on the water. See how it's just flat and just kind of drifting. And then you kind of just do a little bit of that and you catch you a trout. Just like that. <laughs> nice. Get him, Jay. Oh, it's a rock. It's gonna be a little deep. I think it's my third little rainbow trout. We just moved upstream a little bit closer to the dam. Our first spot was just not, it wasn't happening. I used to catch a bunch of fish there, but for whatever reason, they don't seem to stack up there as much. But what's in this little guy back here? We're in a really nice shoal. There's a lot of big chunk rock. And uh, we've had a couple of bites since we got up here and hopefully we'll find a big one. Gotcha! That is not a big one. That is a tiny little guy. A little morsel. That's like brown trout food right there. be rocks. Nope. Trout. It's a trout. Get up here. No nice little rainbow trout. They are loving that sassy colored trout magnet. Jay's still throwing that cotton candy. She said a few bites on it, but if they don't start picking up on that, we're gonna swap to double sassies, I think. Maybe try another color. Okay, so we caught a few trout here in this shoal, but we can't keep our eyes off what's going on right here in this little slack water. There is a ton of bluegill and other assorted sunfish chilling in these rocks. We've got the trout magnets on right now. We're just going to drop it down in there and see if we can catch a couple of them. I'm seeing what looks to be some green sunfish and bluegill, but there's some other fish down that look kind of interesting that I would like to catch. So Jay and I are going to start pitching around and see if we can't get us one, or two, or 10, or 12, or 25. We got it! Oh, I missed. What you got? Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's a green sunfish? Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, hybrid? It's like a hybrid. It's like a hybrid. First sunfish of the day is a nice little hybrid. There's a bunch out there. Paul, you got one yet? I'm 
Oh, oh my gosh! I keep pulling it away from him. Ah! Got him. Oh, look at that stud. Look at that stud. Check that out. Jay just released that hybrid sunfish. I pitched back in there and I connected with a purebred bluegill sunfish. He's a pretty good size and he's almost about the same size as that trout we kept earlier. There's a bunch of fish down there. I swapped up and I put the little mealworm color trout magnet on there. I really like this color when targeting a bluegill. It just looks like a little, little bug down there. A little bit more natural than the pink. Of course, they're eating the pink. But we're going to send him back in there and see if we can't pull any more crazy sunfish out before we get back after those trout. Golly, there's so many down there. I'm trying to pull away from the, the small ones to get the bigger ones. There you go. Jay caught the hybrid. I caught a purebred bluegill, and now we got a purebred green sunfish. Nice one. Got you. Oh, another green sunfish. I don't really want to catch a bunch of green sunfish. I was hoping to catch something else down there. But we'll make a few more casts and see if we can't connect with what I thought was a pretty cool fish. Oh. Oh, what is that? Oh, no. oh it's a green sunfish. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird how he came out and got that thing. I was trying to catch the trap. There we go. Oh. Oh. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Nice, that's a pretty one. It's been a minute since I caught a nice trout. Uh, we moved down here a little bit deeper hole and I thought we would start catching them really good because the sun's up really high and usually they'll sink down these deeper spots. But uh, that's the first one I've caught here. I might have to do a color change. Might have to keep exploring, try to figure out where they're hanging out at. But that's a really pretty one. And definitely the healthiest looking one I've caught. He's got beautiful colors. He's got fully intact fins. He's, this is a fish that's been here swimming in this river for a little bit. And uh, we're gonna send him back. Gotcha, little guy. Is that a brown one? It's a brown one. It's a little skinny looking brown one. We gassing up on these multi-species now. This is our first brown trout of the day. Not super big. I've caught some decent ones out here before, but it's just cool to catch another species. We're gonna try to keep a, a mental list of how many species we catch out here today. Cause I think we can catch upwards of 10. He ate the sassy trout magnet. Oh, he still got it. He wants to take it home with him. Spit it out. It went some, I'll get it, there it is. Nice little brownie. Yeah, that brown trout stole my sassy, so we're swapping up to a straight pink. First cast with a straight pink, baby. He's got some shiny sides. Whoop! Got him. Nice little, little stalker rainbow. We need to find some more to put on our stringer. I've, I've thrown back a whole limit already, but we're trying to be a little bit selective. We're trying to take the ones that we kind of jack up. Let's me catch another one. Oh, oh no, that was a big one. Oh, that one, that one hurts. That one, that one felt different. There's some different ones out here, I promise you. There's some absolute giant trout in this spot. Um, they can be few and far between. Sometimes they can just come and wave to catch a bunch of that. Oh man. Gotcha. 
No, no, it's a little rainbow. We're back on that cotton candy train. We're moved up a little further closer to the dam. We're in a really fast, shallow shoal. He was all over it. And okay, we're going on a little hike. This side of the river is not holding any fish. So we're going over here. We're gonna try it over here. This looks really good. This is some of the best looking water. And if I don't catch anything over here, then I'm gonna go to another spot. I brought both my rods. I'm actually gonna start right here. I got a good shot at this pool right here. I'm gonna throw this trout magnet. And then I'm gonna go to the other bank and throw in that really fast ripple over there. This spot looks too good to not be holding some fish. Only problem is I only have one trout magnet on me right now. <laughs> what? That ain't no trout. That thing is crazy. Look at that thing. Dang. That ain't a trout, but I'll take it. It's another species on the death. It's a gorgeous long-eared sunfish. That's probably the prettiest one I've caught all year long. I was not expecting that. That is awesome. What a gorgeous fish. Well, might have to change tactics to go after the long year sunfish after that. That was a gorgeous fish. There's a good one. There's a good one. That's our biggest of the day, guys. If we can land him, that is a really solid trout right there. He's going upstream. Look at him. Look at him go. That's a nice one. I knew there had to be some trout up over here. Come on, big guy. That's a really nice one. There we go. Let's get him over here in this little shallow pool. Look at that. Really nice trout. He's probably 16 inches maybe. Not nah, maybe 15. He's not quite 16, I don't think. Good lasso around his tail. That is a beauty. Biggest one of the day. Bit the sassy trout magnet. Got over here in a good looking little spot. The trout is not going off super crazy today for some reason. But we're still catching some, and that's all that matters. We're gonna send him back. Nice. There's a fish. There's a fish on the D2. Fish on the D2. Oh, that's another nice one. There we go. Look at the colors on that one. He's beautiful. That is a gorgeous rainbow trout. Look at the pink cheeks on that thing. He smoked that D2 jig. I cast it up there in that fast current. Started ripping it. He bit it on the fall and we got him. Another quality fish. So we made a major spot change. We started off fishing on the other side of that, that bank over there in the main river. Um, we were over there, we got word that they actually stocked 800 trout <laughs> right here. And so we weren't really catching that good. We we're catching stalkers anyway over there. So we we're like, might as well come over here. And out in the water, there's just trout just swimming around, got a care in the world. I think you say he stocked them this morning. So they should be hot and ready to go. We got our trout magnets. Um, so we've been struggling over that. I think it's just because of a lack of fish. We're just not seeing them. We normally see them out there like we're seeing them right here. So yeah, we're gonna try to catch some of these guys. And the guy said they put some big ones in here too. And I've seen a couple of nice splashes. 
But yeah, we're gonna throw these trout maggots around. I've still got the sassy, she's still got the cotton candy. And we're gonna try to put some fish on our stringer. These look like perfect candidates. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Let's go. We should have started here a long time ago. Get him. Yes, that's a good keeper. That is a good keeper. That's a good keeper. He's a chunky guy. He really is. That's a tub. Look at his tummy. This one is definitely a fresh stalker. Look at his pectoral fins, or lack of. Yeah, he's look at him. Look at how fat he is too. He is a chubby guy. We are gonna be putting him on the no stringer. I have a fish. I got it. Go get the bear claw. Oops. All right. Now we got two trout on the stringer. We're gonna try to fill this thing up while we're right here and um, get some much needed protein on the stringer. Going down to it. I saw, oh, no, look how dark that one is. Wow. Looks like a small mouth, he's so dark. Look at that thing, oh, we got doubles. Get up here, look at that one. That ain't bad, Jay's got one too. That ain't a bad one. Look at the spots on him. Uh-oh, we got the train coming. There's like so many trains up here. That's a good spotted one. We're gonna get him on the stringer and we're gonna get back in there. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, shoot. Can you raise up a little bit, Jay? Oh, get him. Uh-oh, we're about to have a mess. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, get him. <laughs> nice. These are quality fish. Yeah, they are. Not bad at all. Come on, oh, is that a, what is that? Is that a dog? Oh, God! That is a good one. I get the net. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to find another striker. <laughs> That ain't a bad one. I think it's my second biggest of the day. I think the one I caught right below the dam earlier was a little bit bigger. Oh, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't fall. You're okay. You're okay. You want this hand? We'll hold you in this hand now. <laughs> Not a bad trout at all. Uh, got some decent colors to it. Got most of his fins intact. And he was a good fighter. We're going to get him unhooked and see if he swims off or not. I think he's good. You're not gonna believe what I have on here. <laughs> it's not a trout. I don't know how I did this. <laughs> this is crazy. Come here, big guy. My blind just went And uh, I guess he swam right into it. What are you? Uh. Well, that's one way to catch a snake. You wacky rig it with a trout magnet. He's down here trying to get these fresh trout like we are. No get tangled up my line. Oh, he's trying to get tangled up in the line. Let's just let's just do this. Let's do this. Let's not get hooked again. He's not he's not helping me out here. There we go. He's acting like a dang constrictor. There we go. Now we got a hold of him. That is our second water snake of the day. It's our same species as the first time. Another Midland water snake. Um, Surprising, we've only caught two so far. We've seen a few swimming around, but literally just my line was out there. Bob went down and lifted up and I knew it wasn't a trout as soon as he, I guess as soon as he bit. <laughs> Pretty cool snake. He's probably, how long is he? Two foot? And he is stinky. But we're going to send him back here into the river and get back to catch some trout. He engulfed that thing. They're being insanely aggressive. They're biting the trout magnet every throw. I put the D2 on to try to target a slightly bigger trout. And this is not a slightly bigger trout. But I'm going to keep throwing it for a little bit longer. And I might swim back to the trout magnet. But that was awesome. 
Okay, so we just really did some damage over there by those little pipes. There were so many trout over there, like literally hundreds, and they were all hungry. Um, we decided to give those fish a break. We came back over here, this unique structure. I think it's like the old original dam or like some sort of hydro plant or mill. I don't really know what this thing is, but it's cool, and I've caught some big fish under here in the past. So we're going to actually pass up underneath here. There's some water coming through, and hopefully we can hook a big one. I've caught some really nice trout in this spot and some big bass too. We're just going to pitch that little trout magnet up under there, and hopefully we'll get bit. Uh-oh, got him, got him. Had to catch at least one from this spot. Took us a second to get one, but that's a pretty nice rainbow out here underneath this. I think it's an old mill or something, or some hydro plant. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, but I always tend to catch a couple nice ones there. I missed one that was really nice. Um, I'm glad I've caught one here. I'll make a couple more casts in this if I can't get another one, but I'm happy to have gotten one. I'll send it back. Okay, big boss. Yeah, I had to sit in the shade for a while. It is 100 degrees outside. And we were just standing in the heat for a long time, in the sun for a long time. Uh, hold up a second. What? Oh my, uh. What? What? This isn't good. Okay, don't 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 be mad. What? Don't be sad. Uh, I don't know how I just noticed this. What? Look at your look at your ring. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's gone. What? Wait, <laughs> wait. It's gone. My stone is gone. What? How long is it? It was on whenever we left. No way. I, I don't know when I would have lost it. Did I lose it in the river? <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe that. It looks like like that broke right there on both ends right there. Like both those little clips. I what if it you might have just shattered? I can't believe it either. I don't know if it was a real diamond or not. I don't really remember. What do you mean you don't remember? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't spend like five thousand dollars on it. Okay, I would be. I would be honestly so upset if someone spent five thousand dollars on me for a ring. Um, but still, it's not really about how much money was spent on it. Aww. That's no bueno, dude. That's no bueno, Jay. I can't run around like this. I wish I. I haven't even noticed it. We could look I wonder for when it. that happened. We could look around by these pipes. I, I did. Know. I fell I right. Go my footage. Yeah, I fell right there. It's pitiful. It looks so pitiful. We were having <laughs> such a good day. <laughs> R.I.P. Jay's engagement What if it's ring. in the river? It probably is. With all the trout, the trout probably ate it. As, as vicious as these trout have been right here, if it had any sort of hang time on the way down, probably got ate. Somebody's gonna catch a trout and they're gonna fillet it and they're gonna pull the guts out and be like, ooh. And if you find it, you can call me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That I'm sorry, sucks. Jay. Well, what can we say, guys? We had an awesome day out here on the river. It was definitely full <laughs> of some ups and downs for sure. Um, you know, we started off by going over to our main spot and it didn't really produce like we thought it would. We caught some fish, we caught a few rainbows on the D2 jig and the trout magnet, but it was overall just kind of slow. And I don't really know why the water's a little bit low. We didn't really see that many fish. But then, after getting word there were some fish over here, well, we proceeded to wreck shop and we caught a bunch of yeah. them. And we caught some good ones. So many. I mean, they were just as big here, crazy. if not, and bigger than the ones we caught yeah, over there. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun catching them every cast. And um, it's just always fun to be out here. One thing we forgot to mention is how hot it is today in Ar here in Arkansas and how hot it has been. It's been clear over 100 degrees like three or four days in a row. and it's 
not showing any signs of getting any cooler for the next few days. So this is just this is just a really great place to come and cool off. There's a lot of shady areas where you can hang out at. The water's cool, but not mm -hmm. freezing cold. It's comfortable, and you can have fun and catch fish. Yeah. Lots like we fish. did today. <laughs> you know, we only got five on our stringer, but we probably caught northwards of 50, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, actually, we caught more. Be sure to check out part two of this video. We actually caught way more than that. We caught, <laughs> yeah. But in this video, we caught probably 40, yeah. maybe 50. I don't know. We caught a bunch. Couldn't show them all. We also caught some bluegill, caught some red ear, not red ear, uh, green sunfish, yeah. but no bass. <laughs> it was a good time. But then, tragedy struck. Tragedy. Look at this. Look at this mess. This ought to be a sin. It looks so weird. That's not what we wanted to happen today. Um, but our anniversary is coming up here, uh, September the 10th. Yes. So maybe, yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can make something happen. I don't have a ring uh, you either. You know what? We gotta get you a we ring. Gotta get, we gotta get doubled up. You have not been wearing a ring in I don't know how long. And nobody wants me except for you. Oh, that's true. Anyways, guys. <laughs> We are going to uh, get on on the road. We have like a three-hour drive. We're hot, we're delusional, we're thirsty, we're hungry, and sad. we're tired and sad. We got a lot of things going on. But we had a great time. We hope you all enjoyed fishing with us out here at the river. We hope to come back out here again soon to try to catch some more fish. If y'all would like to see that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. We're, we're Cole and Jay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.